EA Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live second-round coverage of the BioWare Classic. Getting set for all the action on what my idol Vin Scully would have said was a beautiful afternoon here in the Sunshine State. Rich Lerner alongside Frank Navolo for EA Sports. Getting ready at Wetlands Golf and Country Club. An interesting layout, Frank. The players are ready to go. And what are you thinking about as you get set to tee off? Well, you're thinking about you're going to play a long golf course, um, sort of mid-7,000 yard range. But uh, this is a golf course that you actually do get to hit your driver more often than not. So it's a good driving golf course. Green's relatively flat as well, but um, be careful if you're a little weak of heart. Look left or right, you might see the odd gator or two. Just a good solid tee shot right there, about 280 yards. Playing his second shot here at the par five. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. On the green. And a chance for birdie here in the first hole. Made a par in his previous round. This time, it's for birdie. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. This one just requires a little bit of focus. That's a solid par putt. Strong par five to start, followed by a good par three. The second hole is 225 yards. Two bunkers, Rich, when you look at this par three. In between is a nice corridor, and that's really the line that you want to be looking at going at this par three. Just thread the gap, and you should safely find the green. Frank, that ball's sitting up like it's on plush carpeting. Rich, if you and I had lies like that every time, we'd still be playing this game for a living. Chance to get it close here. Well, this is the kind of wind that, that separates the great players from the average players. You really have to be strong to handle these kinds of winds. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. He got robbed, Frank. No, it's like kissing your mother-in-law. Nudge this one home, finish it up. Ouch, you really can't afford to give away shots at this point in the tournament, Frank. 
We're at the third hole now at the wetlands. It's a par four, 460 yards. Frank, you watched the web.com tour event down here. And what did you see when the young bombers came to this hole? Oh, this is a hole they just love, Rich. You know, it's flat, it's long, and it's straight. So they just tee it up, aim it straight at the green, hit it as hard as they can. And uh, some of these guys were just going in with an eight or a nine iron. It was quite amazing. And, of course, when you go with an eight or a nine iron into this hole, you look at three more often than not. Tom Weisskopf was one of my idols growing up. I loved the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my eye. And it looks like Rory McIlroy finds stick in the follow through. He has given this one the full treatment. Perfect release through the ball. And this shot he is on the fairway over 300 yards. Chance for birdie after that beautiful shot. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. That is so painful when you come up that short. Why is it that putts online come up short putt for par he needs one now that's a good par there rich now back over to the fourth that is not the way he wanted to start out this second round frank what does he need to do in order to put himself in better position for the weekend have a convenient memory right now, and uh, whew, that's going to be tough too because that one is up front and personal. So this looks like it's heading for the bunker. And the tee shot ends up in the bunker. Now from the bunker. Yeah, just a little splash out on this par three. A good birdie right there, Frank. Oh, time to get another cup of coffee. Things are heating up. Now to the fifth hole here at the wetlands. Par five, 635 yards. A lot going on here, Frank. The shorter hitters don't really worry about the uh, the swamp land on the left because it really only cuts in to worry the longer hitters if you want to try and reach this par five and two. So shorter hitters, two good shots, set up a wedge shot. Longer hitters, are you straight enough to hit it into the narrowest part of the fairway? That's in the fairway. Looks like he's going to have a go at it here at the par five. His second shot. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light special.
So a longer putt coming up next, about 30 feet away. Made par yesterday, this one for birdie. Frank, he might like this one. He might like, oh, he's gonna love it, Frank. In a very aggressive mode with that birdie, now in second place. Par four sixth here at the wetlands, 440 yards and water to deal with. Two choices here, Rich. Lay it up, short of the wetlands, or, well, chance it, brave enough, tee it up and flash it across the wetlands to just a mere short iron into this lengthy par four. Whoop, this is taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. There you go. Yes, David. It's all right, just leave it there, it's fine. G'day, Michael. G'day, Jim. How's it going, Jay? Yeah, don't worry about it, I'll sort Discord out for tomorrow. Oh, got a bit of feedback. Um, yeah, nice guys, that was brilliant track. earlier. Um, I'm doing a, a podcast tomorrow with Predator. Um, bit of like a retro game yeah, podcasting. The round we'll together. probably be talking about a, about a couple of more wrestling games. And uh, yo, Lance King, what's up? Go love the golf. And um, part right there. Yeah, I. It was good, SmackDown. I was a lot better than I thought. Right, 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 that's impressive. You did a five hour stream on the Warriors. That's unbelievable. What does that mean? Um, he, one of my uh, subscribers, Last King, I'm, I'm, I'm subscribed to his channel. He did a, a, a stream on the game, the Warriors on the, the PS2. He did a five hour stream on it. But you did a one hour and a five hour. What's the difference? And like, what would do? No, no. He did. A f he just played the game for five hours and streamed. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That's like. Oh yeah. Excuse me. I remember playing that mm. cracking game. Warriors come out to play. Sounds awesome. Yeah. Uh, You're doing a 24 hour stream on Red Dead 2. PGA Tour. Shit, that's incredible. The season long race for the.
Or how about bloody hell? Third round coverage. Get the Lucas Aid and the Cokes colouring. Get some of this stuff in. Hello again and welcome, Rich Trotter, <laughs> alongside my colleague. Frank 24 hours. The Riddles Cokes. Getting set to go at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club, Jesus. located along the St. John's yeah, River in the great state of Florida. Good to be in contact with you now, Michael, because I've, I've seen you before, obviously, on um, on Jim's Facebook. Rory Matos, so. 14 on the park. <laughs> they, laugh. they were laughing we at you burping. The first hole. <laughs> yeah, they said your dad burping. <laughs> 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 Third round, about to get underway. And you played well through I'm the first two days. Is that what I'm going to contention. But it's still uh, My dad's using the controller. But we're going to be using the PlayStation Motion for uh, everybody's golf uh, VR. Because that's going to have motion control in, in virtual reality. So hopefully, anyway. But I noticed, um, I tried Frank, right, right, using uh, uh, be if it was on motion the control on Forza 4 on the One X. Now from now, a good and position it just seemed to, second shot. Because you can use motion control to, like, obviously drive. I don't know what, what it is. It doesn't, the, the motion control doesn't, um, work. I, I can't work it out. It doesn't really work properly on the, on the One X. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know why. Paying <coughs> attention like a little kid. It's like it's not responsive. It, it's up. like a split. It's, got the best it's like half a second well. before you do it. It's, from where that it's, ball is. it's really Ready odd when you're trying shot. it. Needs to hit this close. Because I was really looking forward to using motion controls with it because I still haven't got a steering wheel. And I thought, oh, I'll be able to use motion to stuff on it, but it doesn't. It just doesn't work. It's a green in regulation. Yeah, the big green. Do you think this is one of the easier holes on the golf course? Oh. Um, so now, just trying to avoid six. Oh yeah, I was just about to say, guys, make sure you sub to one another. Um, I was going to say, last king. This is my friend Jim. Now that is and, a uh, He's a wrestling fan. He does a, a wrestling channel. He does reactions to all the latest wrestling stuff. Um. Um, Predator, stream, stream to Jim, James, he's a really good second guy, par three of I used to work with him yards. on night shift, he's a really good guy, he's into yeah, wrestling game as well, when he's into wrestling as well, where not to go. but yeah, they don't really and Michael, the green. he's uh, on so, so stay with James' the show, he's a wrestling fan, him and his fiance, that green is plenty big enough. the last king, yeah, last king, he's into his retro stuff, so um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to him as well, Max Payne. What a flipping game that is, and the end of it as well. I, my favourite bit of Max Payne was when you used to go through the dark cor corridors and the nightmares, nightmare flashbacks. You'd follow the blood trail. Remember that, Dad? Max Payne. Sorry, to hear. Oh yeah, the, I do. The, okay, the yeah, bullet yeah. time. Yeah, that's amazing. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> oh, Max Payne is amazing. Yeah, I think um, 2K19 looks amazing to me. I'm really, I'm really impressed by WWE. I know you were saying earlier, um, James, that like it, it, it glitched when you're outside the ring and stuff. But the whole time I was watching it, I was like, God, it looks so good. Oh, you! It's the nice first time in years I like, really wanted to, really, really wanted to play it, like, and and, and, and purchase it. I keep oon and on every year to get it. This year, I think it's the you know, I'm going to get it because it looks so. It looks excellent this year. It's amazing. No matter how close it goes, it's an extra shot. That one will definitely hurt. Can't concentrate. Make a cut right, right here. He is currently sitting at one under for the round. Where's the? Uh... No, it's all right. No, no, it's okay. I said I was sorry, just gonna leave it here so they can hear me, that's all. Carry on. Sorry. Yeah. 
The third hole here at the Wetlands is a par four, 460. All uh, right, it was the online. It appears no, that's to be fair a enough. pretty straightforward tee shot. It is, and actually, Rich, when I was watching the web.com event here, uh, this is where I saw those young, talented players really take advantage of a hole like this. Just ramrod straight. They teed it up and just ripped it down there. And these are the sort of holes they can often make three on. Bunkers sort of short left and right. Plenty of green to work with. Nice. It looks amazing. It's the shot. first time I've really, really wanted to. Like Excellent I said, it's the first time I've really wanted to get a wrestling game ever since the old originals in the arcades in the early right, 90s. This is a it's like where players yeah, absolutely I just like really want to get it. Now. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Yo, Potato, what's up, man? Hey, everybody, Potato, uh, these are all my uh, good friends, streamers. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a wireless headset. Uh, Slight waggle. Predator. Black's in fact, I've got one. Ready to go. I just need to set it up. Um, Frankie appears to be in control of his game in the early going. Uh, I like what I'm seeing out there. Doing all the basic Yeah, I've been good, Potato. Yeah, no, that's a that's a good point, Last King. My dad's played this online before, and he kicked he kicked my mate's ass. Uh, he was playing with him in um, yeah, nine at Ilham actually in, in the first online game they had. Wow, check this out, Frank. Par 3, 4th, 250 yards. This is a really cool hole. It is. You tee off on uh, that tee shot right across the swamp um, land into a crescent-shaped green. And of course, it is v and Papa v. that bunker. They just cut some very much depth on Okay, boys and girls, I might just say hello to my, if the pins in my the good middle, friend BBD. She's from Australia. Now am I? And uh, this is my friend from Australia. She's a Melbourne girl. Everybody give her a, a sub and you give her a sub back. Oh god. She said V and Pop. Oh, She's one of my dad's biggest fans. <laughs> G'day mates. Headed for the bunker? Oh shit. Oh, Not quite what he wanted. T shot is in the bunker. I went even way past the hole. So it's either the And an awkward little bunker shot. Just splash it out. Oh yeah, yeah, BBD. Yeah, BBD's great. She's one of my um She's one of my uh thingies well I can get my words up. She she's one of my um moderators along with uh, Predator. Papa V for yeah, Prime Minister. Ready for the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Get it. Get it. That's a solid par. Still in it, Frank. Get out. Well, seven behind Rory. Seven behind Rory. Good look now at the fifth hole here at the Wetlands. Par five, and it's a good one. 635 yards. Are you are you getting up for work now, uh, BBD? I'm just trying to get my my clock into Australian time. Six hours. Right? No, it's uh, it's twelve hours, I believe. I believe That's it a good is. start to the hole, right down the middle. I think so. Oh, it's Saturday. Of course it is. Yeah, because you're a day ahead. Sorry, they're they're, they're they're ahead of us. Guess getting confusing. I knew that three to the and I did. Um... Oh shit! Chill out Saturday then. You gonna have some bricky? Oh, Hang on a minute. Fly Megalama. Well, Frank, you go, BBD. Really starting to pick up. You got to fixate on the direction now. If you get the the direction wrong, me and old Jimbo used to have some neighbors, those neighbors those discussions back in the day, didn't we, Jim?
You're just drinking a cup of tea. Oh, it's truth, mate. She's having a cup of tea in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, flame and glare. This is 130, this is 130 yards, yards out. out. Annalise. Annalise. God, yeah, you remember Annalise Hartman? Annalise. God, I've forgotten about her. Oh, shit! What a shot! What was it? God damn. Guys, did you see that shit? Oh, you've got a baker cake. That's awesome. Oh, all the ones. Yeah. No, no, that was... Oh, it was, yeah. Yeah, it was part three, but you played this whole. No, I think it was a uh, uh, bird. It was an eagle, yeah. Three yards to the run out on the first section of the field. Can you not look it back? Look it up. Might be yeah, he said, wow, what a shot. Yeah. Try and flash it across the narrowest part of those wetlands. 276 yards. You've got to bake a cake. Of course, the more horsepower you got, actually, the easier. Yeah, Predator, you got, that's the thing you're really going to enjoy on it is um, Street of Rage. Uh. Because that's the one that plays online for me as well, so. Yeah, that was a great shot. They're all saying amazing shot. Yeah, guys, uh, make sure you check out uh, Michael's other page. In fact, I'll send a link to it. Hang on a minute. Um, bear with me. Second shot. Right, okay, uh, I'm just going to send you a link, copy a link, yeah but, nice eagle, yeah, <clears throat> there you that's go, that's a, really uh, that's a link to Danny and Mike's uh, latest WWD reactions, WWD, WWE reactions, and then you can subscribe to the channels through there. Hey, well done, Potato. 100 sub. Oh! Oh, that was solid, Rich. Yeah, old school neighbours. I was always more of a, a Sarah, Sarah Beaumont fan. In fact, I had Sarah Beaumont on my 21st birthday cake. Nicola Charles. This is an awkward length. When I say I had it on my cake, I meant I had a picture of a scanned on my cake. Let me just get that clear. Oh, no, both. So frustrating <laughs> sometimes on the greens, isn't it? Oh. Drop shot. You're at the six. You got an eagle and you got a bogey. Indeed. In over the putt. Is that um, predator? Is that the link for the? Um, Thing tomorrow. So through 54 for the balls, a really good position inside the top five with one round to go. Yeah, those handful of players that we're looking at, Rich. Um, in fact, I'm going to send a link to uh, this week, uh, which makes tomorrow look like a real. Yeah, she wasn't on my cake, Nicholas Charles, but my uh, no. 21st birthday party. Do you want to play the game? Oh yeah, flaming ill, mate. Uh, hang on a minute. You keep that. <coughs> oh no, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll take that one. Right, sure. And then. Flag it in. <coughs> right, now I should sound a little bit clearer now. There you go. There you go. What time is it? It's in the morning. What time is it over there? Go to work or...? Uh, no, no, it's the weekend now, so... Um, um, da -da 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 -da. What? Hang on, shit. What am I doing? Hang on, sorry. Take there you go. Parker, man. There you go. There we go, right. Hang on, let's go ten, that's not Okay, fair enough. Oh, it's two PM over there, yeah. The How the hell do you know that, Jim? The twelve twelve twenty five for, for, for Today, me. It's live final round twelve twenty five of the BioWare class. Yeah. Well, well, here we are at the Wetlands Golf and Country Club, located okay, along the St. John's no, two River hours, in ten Sunshine hours. State, Florida. Oh, Rich Miller alongside it's Frank Hopkins. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's 12.25. 
Swamp land, and now, is, um, yeah. really, it's a good driving golf course, Rich. Not a lot of fairway bunkers in play here at Wetlands, but... Oh, um, look, Kerry, I want us all to be a... Well, what do you want, Nick? Really Honestly, a break would have to be bananas. <laughs> what are we doing? So, um, Hang on, we don't want to do that, do we? Right. Uh, well, we're going to have a, a double game, mate. Hang on a minute. Right. I knew it was you were assuming our... Uh, we got to go... There we go. ...non-pro... Player. There you go. You. Well, up to that. Up to, up to. Ah, oh, that's your disc Discord link. Thank you. Well, Dave, right. Do your Aussie accent, Dad. Have you done it right? Have you? I have. There we go. Why are you put on the Australian accent? Cause BVD, she's from Aussie. Yeah, I know, but. Oh. We always do it for a bit of fun over there. <laughs> Australia. Out of mind. Yeah, no, um... How are you today? That's my dad's uh, Nelson Mandela impression. How are you today? That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> Coverage, Coverage coming, coming your, your way, way is presented by... Oh, bless you, Jim. Thank you, man. ...and the PGA Tour. Hello again and welcome, Rich Lerner, alongside my colleague Frank Navalo. Here today calling the action from the cliffs at Lighthouse Point. Frank, this course... He's a very good impression. Ah. It certainly does, Rich. Changes the elevation. It is a good impression. He loves doing his Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Peyton Duncan, who's uh, got the course exactly primed. You should enjoy it. You should enjoy the views. Take your camera as well. This is very uh, I think Potato's gone. I don't know. Are you still there, Potato? I think he's gone. I think he is. Set to go at the par four first, and Frank, this is all So that's where you get it from, Pap Papa V, yeah. Visually as well. Uh, yeah, we'd like doing our impressions, don't we, Dad? There is a bunker down the end that will sort of catch it if you hit a little bit too strong, but you've we, got we, we to get to What was it the other one we were doing earlier? Uh, want to have any chance of making birdie at the opening Ma hole. Was it Michael Caine? Oh, yeah, Michael Caine. Yeah. yeah. Um, don't blow the bloody doors off. Yeah. Some people want to watch the world burn. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Lynn, how long did you put that apple pie in for? <laughs> Eight minutes. Eight minutes? It's hotter than the sun. <laughs> oh dear God. Uh, David, you got two players. You got the two. You got two ah players. shit. I knew you did it. Yeah, damn. I all right, all right, all right, all right. Not damn. You're not concentrating, I. No, you're not a mate, mate. You're not. You're not, you're not bloody concentrating. Now go and do it. You got all the bloody dolls on, <laughs> <bang. laughs> <laughs> Predator says you're the funniest person on YouTube. <laughs> David, are you concentrating? Uh -huh. uh, that one there. Go on. Uh, there you go. Yeah, that's it. That's it, no? So, lighthouse point. We'll start are again. Sure? Indeed. I don't think so. Oh, this is there. EA Sports, no, sports coverage, coverage of the PGA Tour. <laughs> <laughs> the Ann Bison voice from the Street Fighter and E movie. New course to most of the golfers on tour, this challenging layout just opened. The day in that M. Bison entered your village. That's good, I like that. Uh, like hey, you no, know, you're gonna go breaking hearts looking like they're walking around looking like they know it's like uh, Hey yo, hey yo, Mick, what are you gonna do, Mick? You could have been somebody, Rock. They said you'd become a sick. You're a bum. Who's the living? We're teed up and ready to go here at the park for a first at Lighthouse Point for a golf course. It certainly is, Rich. Uh, hopefully there's no perfect storm today. But what a way to start. Very, very sharp dog leg left par four to open up. Ideally, you'd like to hit it just to the corner of the dog leg. You're flying the llama. You don't want to miss it long and left, Frank, because if you do, you'll be over the cliffs. And not back even the light yeah, back to help you find that golf ball. Uh, Rocky. Oh, James knows this. I, 
oh, I grew up on the Rocky movies. I think we all did, didn't we? Really, they're, they're the, probably some of the best. I think that's probably the best movie trilogy. Oh god, yeah. Not trilogy, sorry, anthology. Uh, good night, James. James is this heading off to bed. Oh, good night, James. Good night, Jim. Woo woo ah ah <laughs> woo ah. Ooh ah! Predator. Ooh ah! Yeah, James, have a lovely sleep, mate. And thank you for tuning in, James. And if you guys haven't tuned into James already, make sure you visit his channel. He's a really good guy, decent guy, and he's a good old friend of mine. Good night, Jim boy. Night, Jim boy. Night, Mary. There they go. The Waltons. Oh wow! Like oh wow! Oh wow! Oh, oh, not too bad. Yeah. All right, James. What I'll go now? Okay, not ago. bad. No hey, hey. What's, what's that, James? Oh, you know, you know, Lee Bevin, Dad. Who can? Is that your dad, Dave? You He's all right, isn't he? He's quite funny, and Dave. Oh, he do know. He do be mad. What about David Bowie sniffing saddles? Not bad though, is it? <laughs> You're about David Bowie, Kev sniffing saddles. <laughs> It's, oh, we're bloody mad here, aren't we, James? You gotta go to bed, James. That's okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we do love it. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. Oh, oh shit, shit. Yeah. You bastard. You bastard. That's a very good shot. And night, baby, green day. Night, Mike. Good night, John boy. Hits the first green, but he is by no means in John boy. Good night, John boy. Coming up. Rich with a lie like that on the rough, you're gonna get too much. John boy. Who the hell's John? Lee K. There must be some kind of Indian talk or something. Oh shit! Oh god damn! Ah. Oh. John boy from the Waltons. Dear God. Who right, is your favourite all-time wrestler then, driver, Michael? Because I know, obviously, me and Jim have had this conversation. Faster, well, years ago we had this conversation, line, but uh, Might have a chance. Could it be? who's your favourite wrestler? Oh shit! Sorry, I'm sorry. There's a boy that gets on me. Oh yeah, jump boy. Who's John? Calls a John. This is some tough part three. If you John. want to try and uh, really break the hole down and, and be a purist, not here, Mary Ellen. Like to hit a little cut into not Mary Ellen. Not John Ball. Away from the water and the cliff, back towards that bunker. That would be Anybody remember the Dukes of Hazard? That was a good show, wasn't it? Remember that? Oh shit! David Soul, wasn't it? Yeah. What the hell's going on? He ended up in the drink, I think, eh? Out of bounds. Always found this to be hard, Frank. You're seething, you're just fired up, you just knocked one out That'll of bounds. That'll happen there, but... You gotta put it back together. Oh, you like Becky Lynch. You know you go, Becky Lynch. Why more to so Becky Lynch is quality. Having gone OB. Becky Lynch. Yeah, she's she's great, Becky Lynch. She's cool. Yeah, Finn Bella, he's good. Finn's very good. Like, I'm not... I'm not as a hardcore uh, wrestling enthusiast as you and Jim, but I, I try and keep up with it. Um, but yeah, he, she is awesome. Becky Lynch is amazing. Now this is not hitting in the right direction. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. That one ends up in the rough. That's a, that, we used to get so close to the hole of this. Yeah. All the water, not so. Oh. I'm on my third shot. Yeah, but you need to get in, don't you? This is a good looking shot. Oh, that'll have to do. Tell me why you got to do well. That shot you? says it all. You'll get it in the next Second time. shot coming out of the rough here. She is a diamond in the rough, but she's bloody amazing. She's so good to watch. She really is. She's 
she's got that kind of craziness about her as well, which I like. She's quite a distinctive personality. Oh! Are you going to get them all on, on uh, Blu-ray, are you, Predator? Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. So how long have you known uh, Jameson? Even more. Predator. I know, so close. In for ball. Now the third hole here at Lighthouse Point, par five, 566 yards. You dead. Par five. Hey BV, are you, um... When is your sister's birthday party? Is it tomorrow? No, I meant today. Sorry, because you're baking the cake today for your sister, and then you're going out this evening. Am I right? Great and then Bobby tomorrow you've got your family meal. BB's going out for her sister's birthday today, so she's baking a cake. Oh, right. And it's a special birthday? Yeah, is it a special one? Yes. I'm about to find out. you about to find out. She doesn't know all hand. <laughs> <laughs> now from a good position in the fairway. No, if she said, yeah, t <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. That's why I'm baking the cake today. Yeah, but you're going out tonight, aren't is you? You're going out tonight birthday? for drinks. Yeah. Which one is it? Twenty-five, twenty-one. Is it a big birthday? Is it? Oh, not a special birthday. She just loves baking. Ah, oh, that's right. That's a, that's a good excuse. Yeah. Oh, I could do a birthday cake. I love I love eating birthday cake. I just it, there there is something about when you see a birthday cake baked and you say, "Oh yeah, God, so lovely slice!" Yeah, yeah. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's just, what what kind of cake are you gonna get? Sweet cake. Sweet cake. Oh, pr predator! You are actually gonna enter, it, are you? I told you. I said you were. I kept saying to you, you were good enough. I was just saying to Predator, oh, that's a good shot, Dad. Maybe. Ah. Ugh. Oh, five. Eagle attempt on the way. Oh. God. Keep the change of building. Right in the heart of the fairway. Green light I will do. Special. What, what time are you streaming? BB, because um, I want to get it in for that, obviously. So I've got my podcast with uh, yeah. Predator and you, and you can't get away with anything tomorrow, to which will be tonight for you. And, you have to and, your and then I will, as soon as we finish that, I'll head on to, over to your stream. Oh, shit. Pull back. Did you pull back? Did you? Yeah. You're streaming tonight and having lunch with the fam tomorrow for the celebration. An eagle there. Really yeah. want to take oh shit. Out of that no, that's an eagle. Look, you're getting a straight shot. I think that's going to go over. Oh! Speed wasn't bad on that long putt. I thought Reed wasn't very good. Vanilla cake. Lemon curd, standing over this pot, filling, and meringue the frosting that gets toasted with a blowtorch. Bloody hell, that sounds amazing. I'm going to say that again. Vanilla cake, lemon curd filling, and meringue frosting that gets toasted with a blowtorch. God, sounds amazing. That may have been a bit too much to ask are, are you going to put, that distance are you going to put, um, yeah, it's fine to be greedy unlucky, yeah, the pot, but Predator said unlucky. Are you going to post pictures of that on your, um, are you going to post pictures of that on your, on your Instagram? Does that kind of want to see that? In the hole, and that'll bring the score to one under. Gregory Fourth hole. What about you, Michael? What's your plan for the weekend? 
No fairway bunkers. Or you and your uh, really your fair lady, lady. Cliffs to the left. your lovely lady. So water on that side. But one of the wider fairways. What are you guys doing for the weekend? Made up for by a very Me and Predator, we're going to be streaming. Actually, I'm going to be streaming with BBD as well. Hopefully. But this one has a chance to be really good. Will you save me a slice, BBD? Yeah, um, you guys, check and sub to, uh, Michael's other YouTube page, hang on, I'll, there's the link for it there. Don't know why it says open, no, open with Safari. I don't know why it does that. You gotta hit that DVD event that started today. Yeah, because the Dead by Daylight um, thing is it's there's a huge thing going on, isn't there? Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Oh, your friend's going to his shows. I've just tried to send a link to your page, uh, Mike, Second shot here, looking to knock it as in green. your Danny and Mike one, but it doesn't seem to be linking properly. I don't know whether you guys can open that link, but on my iPhone, it just, it says open with Chrome or Safari. Oh, there you go. BBD's done it. Boom. Boom. Yeah, the Hallowed Blight event, it looks good. B we'll have to watch BBD do a Dead by Daylight stream, Dad. So uh, yeah. she plays a horror games. Oh yeah. But honestly, Dead by Daylight's brilliant fun to watch. It's got like all the horror characters and stuff, and the people running yeah. away from them, and oh, yeah, it's yeah. fantastic. Yeah, you, you should play it actually, Dad. You, you'd really like it. It's excellent. Yeah. I mean, you remember how much you loved Resident Evil. They were great. Really yeah. Cool. Oh, no, but the, the games now, they're, they're much more, like the, the horror games so now the are brilliant. They're, they scare you as much as the movies, because... Now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah. But a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. See if he does it oh, you here. search the name on YouTube. Yeah, that's what I do. Oh, your friend wrestles local shows. And we're going to the... Whereabouts do you live, Mike? Should be pretty good right there. On the safe side. Just a superb shot. You're not going to see much better than that all day today. Ball sitting down here with the rock. He's digging in. Uh, oh, you live in Essex. Oh, quality. Yeah, I've got family to live there. Yeah, listen to what Predator says. you got to try horror. Listen, because... Um, uh, BBD's going to play Resident Evil on VR, um, Predator, and tell her what it's like. It is, oh my god, it's terrifying. It is so scary, honestly. It's Resident Evil in, in VR is effective, I'm telling you. There's a bit in, in the game, I don't want to ruin it for you. All I'll say is, an old lady and a table. That's all I'm going to say. In fact, not much happens in this part, but it, it's the fact that not much happens that makes it scary. Yeah, that that's the, that's the link, Mike. Yeah. So what it was, if you click on that link, then people can click onto your page, as in they can click on the link below and then subscribe to your channel. Oh, BVD from BV from Australia. She said. All I know about Essex is what I learned from Toei. As ah, in, the, the only way is Essex. Yeah. The only way is Essex. Bit of Joey Essex, isn't it? You know what I mean? Bit of Toei. Ow. It's Toei... It's Toei... Uh, Poplar over in Aussie. I didn't even know they showed it in Aussie, to be honest with you. Oh, 
Oh shit! Fourth hole looks like it's gonna claim another victim. Sorry. Sorry. No, I know you're not. No. Most people in the UK know that though. They, they they know not everybody in Essex is like that. That's that's one of the problems which shows like that. Oh, I missed it as well. It's, it's just it's an exaggerated version. It's it's like uh, Geordie Shores. If you watch Geordie Shores, everybody thinks, oh my God, that's not the delay. this one on the shot. Steady, solid, and at one under par right now. Now at the fifth here at Lighthouse Point, it's a par four. Frank, what are we in store for? Well, when you stand on this tee, Rich, you don't see any fairway bunkers, but be careful, it can certainly fool you. The goal, really, with the Cliffs course is to find fairways. Ah, uh, shite. Going, there's no fairway there, only yeah. rough. Why did it take so long? Because it's gone into the deep rough. You need to stay on the right. Shot. Yeah, no, it's because there's a bit of a, a gradient, it? gradient on it. And that's why I'm always saying that you're doing the right thing, staying to the right. Oh, you, you're going to be speed running Spyro. Oh, that's amazing. So you're buying the new trilogy, are you? It looks. Have you seen how good the graphics look? That's a great shot, that Dad. By the way, the graphics look amazing yards. on uh, on Spyro Predator for the for the revamp. Shot, it looks the really good. It's on the way. They've done a good job, actually. It looks completely different. Yeah, it's exactly the same. If that makes any sense, you, like you got not, you've just got the same thing, though. No, I, no, I, I, I this is yeah, but I'll end up in the rough. And that one's going to be in the rough, it looks like. Because there's no way I can get there. Thicker stuff. Uh, let's see if he can bludgeon this one out. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really, the oh, only I, thing he's looking I streamed at Crash Bandicoot a while back, this is Mike. This green light special. Uh, did the first one. I still haven't uh, done the second and third one. I'm more into, like, Predator and I are more into our fighting games. So we do, like, a lot of retro side-scrolling arcade beat-em-ups from the 90s. Uh and fighting games, you know, street fighting and stuff. See? Just a Just bit offline. That's the most we've gone into the thing. Why didn't we go into the, on the net? Really I think it's because we've got a bit of a, a weird current of wind today. <laughs> we've got a weird current of wind. Oh. You're going to get a birdie, will you? Look out! Oh. It's, it's over. over. The green. Frank had hit the green, but just didn't have enough backspin. Yeah, it, uh, you wonder what he's thinking on that. Predator's gonna uh, enter into a Street Fighter tournament. He is. It's been amazing on Street Fighter. He's so good. In this way all day. Airtight, no mistakes, solid shot. And yet another green in regulation. Oh, The Last of Us. What a cracking game that was. Damn it. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Good par. Oh. Oh. I've got a bloody bo bogey. Roger, under. Under, Roger. Roger, over. Over, Roger. Remember that. Moving on to hole number six. Huh? Roger. Roger under. Huh? Over, Roger. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> That's not the white man, is it, Charlie? Yeah. Sh surely you don't expect me to... Yeah. Surely you don't expect me to fly this plane. You're the only one we got. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> it's a different kind of flying. Altogether. It's a different kind of flying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. No, not everyone is like Joey Essex. Can't tell the time, can he? Yeah, Predator, uh, Last of Us 2 will be amazing. No, God. Trust me. I love Joey Essex, though. I think he's quality. 
He's got all those. Headed for the bunker? We liked quite what he was hoping for the two yeah. shot in the bunker. We liked Joey Essex dad, didn't we? Yeah, I think it's very funny. Yeah, he, he's funny. He's humorous, of course. He does yeah, I, they're not harm to anybody. Yeah, exactly. I like Joey. I thought he was quite a funny guy. You know, he doesn't uh, mean to be funny, but it's exactly. He's he is a likable guy, though, Joey Essex. I, he's got a business as well. Seems yeah, like exactly. He's not as stupid as he as he makes himself out to be, because. Uh, first of all, as my dad said, he's got a business, and second, he's, he's got right on track. he is quite a good little TV Frank, personality, I think. I know he's an idiot, he is an idiot, but he's a like, he's a likeable idiot, though, do you know what I mean? You, you can get idiots who've got horrible personalities, he's, yeah, he's, I think he's quite funny. Oh, good shot, Dad. Oh, no. Why does it not go in the bloody hole? It all the vibes. Why does it not go in a bloody hole? Bloody hell, blow the bloody doors off, innit? Yeah. These pots keep the round together. <laughs> Gotta blow the that's bloody doors off. I could, that's what I was going to ask you, Predator, actually. Did you get Soul Calibur on the PC then? Even far, apparently. Ah, oh, which shit. Simple, solid. Ah, there you go. He'll take the one that you need to mic. Hello, Danny. How are you? Part four seven, only three hundred and seventy yards. Frank, decision everybody, to be made off that everybody, team. say hello to Danny. This, this is Mike's other half. Yeah, this is my dad in the background, Danny. I'm playing golf with. Nice to finally meet you. I don't have drivers to play. Maybe even three was too much. I'm the only one who likes Jerry Essex. It's like I, me and my dad quite like him. He's funny. Yeah, but I'm good. Thank you. We're enjoying this. Nothing wrong with that one. We had Jim on here earlier, yeah, so and um, but he's gone to bed now. You guys are night owls like us then. It's BBD, she's from Australia. So uh It's twelve Well it's about twelve forty there for us now. Ten hours. Yeah. Yeah, this is Michael's future wife. Ten to one. Ten to one. Second, Second shot. shot. Hey, Good you guys are after a wrestling match tomorrow, Danny. Generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for three. Ah, you guys are a lovely couple. It's lovely that you share you, 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 the, sa the same passion and everything. That's brilliant. Frank, this Frank, is just this a is pleasure to watch. Uh, I, I seriously, I genuinely wish you guys all the best. This game. Notice it's just flowing too. There's not a lot of deep analysis. It's good to have you on here because I've seen you guys talking on the on the wrestling page on Facebook so many times, and I've often thought, oh, I've often thought, you know, they're such lovely people. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very it's a long part, Rich. Oh, you stand a baby. Uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Go to your right. I will go to your right. Oh, God, you started baking. Oh, God. You couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. September the 20th, oh, 2019 will be the day we become one. I'm far behind now. Sorry. Why? Um, Makes the that's the day after my birthday. Right Getting set now over the putt. That'd be awesome, Solid Predator. Effort. We'll definitely and have to do that at some point. At that's the day after my birthday, September the 20th. Another par three. You picked the a perfect time. September wedding. Frank. I will officially be 41 years old and a day when you get married. What is that? 
They're getting married next year on September, September the 20th. Danny and Mike. One. And my dad will be eight. 82. No, my dad will be, you know, you'll be 81. Yeah, but you'll still be 81 at that point. Oh, shit. No doubt they'll be having your dad shot. ready to get married next year in December. Yeah, what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> you know, it's, it's really... What? Uh, they, so what did you say? No, they get married next year. What? No, they're getting married on September the 20th next year. Yeah, that's what I said. We're going yeah. to get you too. Come on, Oh, and she said, uh, Michael said that the day after will be his nan's 80th. Appears to be a smart He's shot, Frank. Yeah, oh, no shit. Here. That's going to fly all the way. That's positive on the site. I'll be 82. Your mum is 45 and she was born in 1973, Penitent. 1973. Drops in. Or birdie. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. Three under on the deck. You'd have been 28 just six days before. Oh, the day, six days before the wedding. No, oh, so you're a September person as well. Oh, that's awesome, Danny. That said. Par five, you think about a scoring opportunity, but then I look at the score card. And I am an old man. I'm an old man. That's pretty tough. October. October. October or September. October or September. Hang on, I've just realised. Predator, your mum is 45. This whole dog legs to the She's born in 1983. Ideally, you just sort of like to go fairway, fairway pitch. That's the prudent way to play the hole. I'm trying to think when when was Mark, Mark born? Oh no, he was born in '75. No, I was going to say it's the same year as Mark, but no, it's not. You'll be 32 by the time when the wedding arrives. Ah, oh, that's a nice age gap between the two of you. It's you. That's a nice age gap. Four years. So where where are you are you guys are you guys actually have you have you sorted out your wedding venue and, and all of that? I remember what it was like. I got I got married in two thousand and three. I'm divorced now, but I got married in two thousand and three, and I'll I'll never forget <laughs> the the preparations for the wedding. It was just like you had to go for all these like reviews of your vows with the the ch well the priest because we got married in the church and stuff and um then you have to go back again and then again again and again and again and again and again must have done it about eight times but um second shot i think you you guys are probably i think you're getting married at the right time i think i, I got married a little bit too young i think that was my problem well, it wasn't my problem. I was an idiot when I was younger, but uh, I definitely got married too young. But you guys, are, it's that—that's kind of the right age to get married, I think, in your late twenties. Like Would you say that? Frank, late twenties, early thirties. Yeah. Well. Because by that point, that you've kind of figured out who you Great are shot. and stuff. And Looking I think when you're in your early twenties, you're still kind of thinking, "Who am I?" Sort of thing. And I think it's oh, for a guy, it's different for a guy because he's still like, "Oh, I'm gonna lose all my." That type of the freedom and all that type of scenario is in, involved. You think, oh my God, you know, because yeah. you're a free man and all that. Different for a girl, I think. I don't know because they they accept all that and want to settle down. Scenario with a female, it's like the house, the babies. That's a different outlook. Yeah, the guy is different. When he makes that step to get married, is it a nervous situation? Think, oh, my God, I'm getting and psychologically, oh, I lose all that, but but. You fall in love, and that's it. And exactly. It's just a process. Yeah. And you you give all that up to marry the the one you love, you know, and that's it. You know, it's it's a lovely thing. You know, yeah. 
I believe in marriage. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, I believe in marriage as well. Like, I, it didn't work out for me, but um, I would never rule it out in the future again. Like, I, you know, I think that the thing to remember is, is Frank, for players looking to improve their playing, what are some yeah. of the training methods they can use? I think speed is always good. Is a good one when you get on the putting range. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if if you'd have been sixty-five to now is. Uh, 50, 53 years. He would have been 53 years married. I uh, you'll get a, 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 a new a girlfriend at some point, Predator. You're a lovely guy. You're an absolutely lovely guy. So nine holes nah, down you, that's, it's Frank great Bob though that you guys are so excited about it together though like you seem like a really open and, and genuine couple yards, but it's a par but like my dad was saying he, he was married initially and his wife died of cancer in 1987 and then he met my mom and so because my dad died when I was six years old in 1985 and then Terry here the Papa Veris <laughs> he became my dad in 1988 so yeah it all wor worked out really well really well I say it obviously it's tragic what happened with my father and my dad's late wife but otherwise you were in some America and tweets talking you know yeah because we're solid, your mom, and so am I about marriage. We don't believe in the breaking up and the divorce and all that nonsense. Yeah. And you're there for the the duration of your life, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's marriage for life, and you stick with it. That's it. It's a yeah, big thing, and you... Oh, it is, yeah, absolutely. You have your ups and downs. Yeah, right? totally. That's, that's what makes it... And you sort it out, you gel it. But there's too much of this... Well, I'm not happy with it. I'm going to get divorced. Stick with your partner, stay with it. Oh, absolutely. Day, and you feel it's much better to be absolutely, stronger, I agree. stronger together. Yeah, totally agree. You will be much stronger together because divided you fall and there's so much stress and breaking up. And yeah, absolutely. It's not right. You know. Yeah, you know, if People I say, oh, well, uh, in it's all right because but I'm not happy with it. You marry a person you love. And yeah, and you want to stay with them for life, and yeah. You sort it out. Yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> She said, Danny just said, loving your dad right now. He's literally just made me wake my mom up because I'm belly laughing. Yeah. She thinks you're great. Took you guys long enough to get together, though. I'm sorry to hear about that, Predator, about your last girlfriend. It's a good spot right there. Small thing. It's not about the size of the of the wedding. It's it's about you two. That's all that matters. At the end of the day, it's just your your day. You know, exactly. That's all that matters. In fact, it wouldn't matter if nobody else was there, and that, apart from your your mum, your parents, and because that's all that matters. Is you know, it's not about their. Just the flag. the two of you. Yeah, exactly. You see these people going to when they elope and all that. It's about them, isn't it? Yeah. You know, great. Yeah, absolutely. If you're in love. Indeed. Well, you guys always seem lovely. Every picture I always see of you on Facebook, you're always together and smiling and stuff. And, and I've never even met you. I've only just got to know you guys now, but I've always seen you on Facebook. So, uh, you know. And I've known, ja I've known James for... How, long, how many years have I known James? I've known James for 15 years. No, 14 years. So uh, I've known him since he was like 16, 17, and he's 31 now, so. So the boy's getting mad. Uh, this could be a good one. Yeah, that's, you know, James, who I used to work with on night shift. Oh, James has got a really deep voice, you know, he's like. Uh, 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 Bruno. No, no, I mean, yeah, no, James has got a real deep voice, man, no, I mean. But this is a long hut. Greens are Preach Papa V. BBD just said line, Preach Papa V about what you were saying about marriage. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, we're in it together yeah, forever to now. I have loved this guy for years. That's what Danny just said about Mike, because uh, they're both on chat at the moment. Oh, that's nice. Oh, bless you, Michael. That's a lovely thing to say to Predator. Yeah, we've we've all been there. Um, yeah, and I heard you saying about that for, for New Year's Eve, buddy. As long as I'm not somewhere else, I'll do that. I, I imagine I'll, I'll see what happens. But that sounds brilliant. I imagine Tony will be there doing it with you as well. You look happy. You do look happy to both of you. I was talking to uh, BBD. Oh, thank you. Thank you, BBD. But we, one is in the we were talking about, about like, yards. BBD and I uh, were talking about this the other day, like about what, you know, because BBD and I were both around the same age, so, well, she's not, she's not an old fat like I am, but, she's not an old fat like Dan and I, but, <laughs> but we were talking about like, you know, it's funny because you get a lot of the younger crowd here on YouTube and stuff and it's it's great how like how the community on YouTube you can just get everybody kind of coming together because if you've all got a similar interest it doesn't really matter what age you are that's the thing age age it, it's it, YouTube proves it at the end of the day it's just a number because if you enjoy the same things like when it comes to video games or films or whatever you know we, and if you can get that in a relationship, well, that's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. That was an amazing shot, Dad. Oh. On the green and two. Eagle attempt on the way. Terrible. And now the second oh, shot. shot is uh, oh, you're making me blush, my darling. All true, though, sweetheart. That's lovely. Ah, oh, you guys. You're not on You're not on all fat. Age is just a number. It is. This is just a, 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 a mortal coil that you're in. That's what I always say. To my, my mom, bless her, she's 80 now, and um, she can get she down sometimes. Well, no, she, she can get down sometimes about her age, and she feels quite down, bless her, because she's she's quite frail, God love her, and um, she gets down about her age. But as I always say to her, she actually looks really good for her age, my mom, mm. because she's got. Dark hair. This is absolutely true. My mum is. Grey hair at all. She hasn't got one grey hair. My mum, and she's eighty years old, and she's got dark hair. And. And her mum had dark. Hair. And her mum had dark hair, and I'm probably going to be the same, you know. Um, but I don't care about grey hair because I'd happily go grey. I've also said that to my dad. Grey. Yeah. Silver grey. Silver grey. Yeah. But the grey, grey hair is cool on a guy. I like, I like grey hair on a guy. That's good in the hole, baby. Oh shit. No, I don't know. Yeah, Predator, you've only got one grey hair. That's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. I've got a few grey hairs here anyway, so. Oh, that's oh, a bloody good shot, though. Oh, for an eagle. Yeah, you can't afford from uh, inside oh, 10 feet. It just, you feel like you have to make those and um, do some, really some sting when they mess. Ball sitting down here with the rock, digging in. That's what I always say, guys, though, that the shell you're in is just a shell. Oh, don't do this, <laughs> Sorry. Oh, for God's sake. I'm sorry. Maybe sick. Bottom of the barrel. Two under. Yeah, grey hair's good on a on a. Grey hair's good on a on a guy. I'll always say that. I think grey hair suits men. I think it suits women as well. Actually, I, I like grey hair. So I've always said that. Like my dad, he, my dad's got grey hair. He's eight years old, so he's obviously gonna have grey hair. But I've always said to my dad, I I think my my dad has aged really well because he's got grey hair, but it suits my dad. It makes him look quite distinguished. It is, though, isn't it? Because you always keep your hair. But 
It does. Oh yeah, as far as I'm dying, I'm happy. Great strike and a great result. It does. So you know, as, uh, good chance to attack the flag. The barrier. I'll just accept it. Let's say keep moving. Yeah, exactly. Well, your mum was different. She just—it's a handicap to her. She feels, oh no. Age. I'm eighty. I'm not. Yeah, you see, my mum blesses. She. she down. My mum blesses. She. She gets down about the fact that she's. Oh, God because she's frail and she's she's at the age she is but as we always say to her she's got you know she's got so much going for her because she's such a lovely person my mom and she's a lovely person if she was on here now she'd be saying hello to you all and she's such a lovely person yeah, she is. there you go bb dear yeah exactly Frank, really good I'd, chance from this position uh, to make a birdie. Yeah, really. I don't know if you don't. He's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light like, special. Uh, what does a girl that I used to um? There's a girl that I used to work with um, who she had, she had this like strandy grey hair, and she was younger than me. She was two years younger than me, and this is when we were about 24, 25. It was when Frank, I was working in the Ministry of Defence. And she had this like salty grey hair, and set up over the ball. But she never dyed it, and she looked amazing. She looked absolutely amazing. She looked like a, a kind of a. She had these really deep green eyes, and she had like silvery strands in her hair, and she looked fantastic. And I always respected her so much for the fact that she never dyed it because I, and she looked like she had this kind of banshee look because she had this really long thick hair. And I used to say to her, I used to say, your hair looks amazing, don't ever dye it. <laughs> That's a great shot, Dad. That was a great shot. And she said, no, I, I'll never dye it because, because she loved the colour of it. And I saw her recently, actually, in, in uh, Bath, which is a city near me. And um, it's gone this really complete grey now and it looks absolutely beautiful. She looks like a model with this grey hair. It looks stunning. Pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. It does, yeah. Well, it's the same about that as well, Danny. That doesn't make any difference to me either, like, whether you lose it or not. It, who cares? You know what I mean? It's like, like you guys were saying. You know, it doesn't... I couldn't give a shit, you know? If I ever lost it, I'd be just like, so what? Now to the 13th, Frank, this I'm not, uh, stuff like that doesn't really bother me, but like, I don't know, when you're, a, a as a guy, you shouldn't really, but that's just my personality, you shouldn't really worry about stuff like that, you know, it doesn't really make any difference. Forget about any thought of even getting close to this par five and two. Plus, just to add insult to injury, the two bunkers off the tee are perfectly. London, placed. if a zombie apocalypse happened, what would you do? Yards, smack bang in the middle of uh, the I'd run like shit. Those, you need to um, really, to try and oh, where am I from? Sorry, Danny. I'm uh, I'm from yes, Bath. Given this one's a full treatment, huh? the ball, the shot, is on the I'm originally ball from yards. we're all we're all originally from Ireland. I, I grew up in Ireland until I was 10 years old and then I moved over here to the UK. So I used to live in Dublin. Dublin! In Dunleary. I used to live in the harbour. But uh, I live in a place called... Um, well, I don't actually live in Bath, but I live near near the city of Bath, which is a Roman city. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it. It's like it's got one of the seven natural springs, six natural hot springs on the planet. It's got all this Roman stone, so in the summer the stone lights up. Yeah, it's a Roman city, so it's a tiny little city, but it looks like a miniature version of Rome, basically. It is stunning. It's one of the most beautiful cities. You just walk around it and... Oh, the Royal Crescent. It's incredible. The Royal Crescent's amazing. It's like, there's a lot of films that are filmed here. They filmed, um, uh, Le Miserable here with Russell Crowe and Vanity Fair was filmed here in the movie. Um, so many films have been filmed here. Down the road, what was it, um, uh, with Rex Harrison? Now from a good um, position in the fairway, <coughs> his second shot. Second shot. The, the animals. Oh, Castle Coombe. We, we got a village near us called Castle Coombe and uh, Dr. Doolittle was filmed here. Mm. I usually die the grey away, but I'm not super worried about them. You've got amazing hair though, BBD.
Um, are you guys, are you, you're part Irish, are you? Do you know, it's funny you say that, Danny. When I saw a picture of you, you have you have got quite a kind of a Colleen look to you. I was thinking in my head, is she? A Colleen, an Irish, an Irish Colleen. Yeah, yeah, Danny, as in Mike and Danny. Not Danny, as it, Danny as in D-I-N-I. Danielle. And I know BBD's Irish. BBD was right born here. in Belfast. That's where my mum was born in Belfast. Were you born in the Royal Victoria? Were you born in the Royal Victoria, BBD, by any chance? Because that's where my mum was born. The Royal Victoria? Okay. Not too bad. Oh, you visited Dublin last year. Oh, Jay, you're doing the Dublin there, you know. How are you, Jay? You know what I mean, lad? Here we are, you know what I mean. God bless you. Three. One. Oh, it's going in. Here it's going. Bollocks. Excuse me, language. Pretty <laughs> chance here. Very long putt, though. You've got to be a little careful. If it gets Your great granddad was born in Dublin. Oh, BBD was born in, in uh, the, the Royal Victoria Hospital. My, I, when I used to grow up there as a little boy, I was around the corner from the Royal Victoria Hospital. That's where my great aunt Rita um, was in the Royal Victoria Hospital. And me and the Rita, okay, not too bad, hey, not bad. You visited Dublin last year. Did you guys enjoy Dublin? You could make some big numbers on this golf course. I would think if you walk out of here today, having shot under par, you'd be really happy. Right, here we are. Certainly, as big boy golf playing around. Oh no, he wants to stand me, bull. You know what I mean? Another example here: this leafy par three, two hundred and forty yards. I can see Lake Zimmer protects the. What a pack of South Wales were you from? Danny, that's a terrible accent. But but I can't do the Welsh accent, but I love. I love, I love, I love Wales. Been up there many a time. We used to, we used to go up to um, oh bloody hell, that is a great shot. I, I used to know Elvis, I did. He'd be pretty happy with that. Tom Jones, down in the valleys. Newport, I. Oh yeah. <laughs> Tom Jones, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I, I mentioned it before, but I, I sang with Elvis back in the day. I love Elvis. Elvis told me one day, he said, you're going to be massive, Tom. Ah, oh, they're lovely. Well, the Welsh people are very friendly as well. We used to go up to Hollyhead. Where, where I lived in Dunleary, guys, uh, on a clear day, you could see Hollyhead from the port where we lived, basically, Dunleary. You could see Hollyhead on a clear day, all the way over in England, uh, in, in Wales. Hard pot, soft hands. That was a great shot, Dad, by the way. Not a gimme. Great shot, you know what I mean? Well, this about six times, David. It was amazing. We stayed at the Maple Hotel. Oh, you stayed at the Maple? That's where I stayed. Last time I was in... I stayed over there with my ex in 2010. My uncle, my mum's brother, he did the interior for that hotel. Albert, he did the interior for that hotel. That, he, all that amazing interior when you go up the stairs. My, yeah, his company did that. They got paid a fortune. He worked on the Titanic, and he was a uh, one of these guys that worked in woodwork. And woodwork, all that. yeah. Technical, he was, yeah. I think what you call it, yeah. But they, yeah. My, uh, so I got he it. developed all that. Yeah. About wood and design, and yeah. yeah. What's it called, David? Um, what? Well, a, a master woodmaker. Yeah. That's yeah. Uh, y yeah. You know Hollyhead Predator. Hollyhead. I spent my childhood there. I loved it. Um. But I've got to tell you guys this story about, um, you'll love this story about, this is an absolute true story. My dad will verify this about my, my auntie Rita when we lived in Belfast, BBD, this, you'll, you'll be interested in this. My auntie Rita, um, I would go up and see her when I was a little boy 
after my dad died, I'd go up and see her and, and we'd spend a lot of summers up there and everything. And I would always go up to a loft. It was one of the old terraced houses in the Falls Road in Belfast where all the troubles were and stuff. Um, and you'd see all the soldiers parade in the streets and all that. And I, so I, I just took it as normal, you know, when I was a little boy, when I would go up there. You never got any of that trouble down in Dublin, but Frank, you got to Belfast and you'd see all of that. But I'd always go up into the loft and I'd look yeah, out across the, like um, the rooftops to be at at night time. And, we'd, right you know, we'd just look at all the lights right. over Belfast and stuff. And I would stand on this rocking chair and um, now this is absolutely true, I promise you. And this massive rocking chair, and I would stand on it, and as I would stand on it, it would rock back and forth. It was a chair that rocked, not and, a rocking chair. Yeah, yeah. And no, it was a rocking chair. It had, a, it had the bellow thing at the Second bottom shot. like that, the, the thing like that. So when I'd stand forward on it, it would go like that. And I'd have to lean and hold onto the window to sort of look out the window. And I'd be, um, I'd be looking out like that, and I, you know, I, anyway, this big chair, it was there. I, as I was grown up as a little boy, I would love this big chair. I would never sit on it. I'd only ever stand on it to look out the window. And it, it, you couldn't move it because it was too big. It was a huge, ginormous chair. And as I got older, we lost contact with my Auntie Rita for a few years. And many years later, Seems to like, it. like about 10 years later, when I was about 16, 17, Good. we went back Chance over to see her. And she was moving from that house into a, an old fold. Uh, and um, we're going to find out where related BBD said. Because <laughs> she, she, she knows people from the Falls Road. She has family in the Falls Road. And uh, what, uh, what basically, I, we, we met up with her years later and we asked her about all the stuff she moved out of the house. And... Um, I just happened to say to her, I said, whatever happened to that rocking chair that I used to stand on? And she said, oh, I threw it out. She said, I just threw it out. I put it out the back and I just let the bin men collect it. And she turned around and she said, well, by the way, she goes, I don't know if you guys know this. She goes, uh, but that's got a really interesting story, that chair. She goes, my father, she said, a fairly generous green, particularly. Sorry, two deck chairs. It was two deck chairs. From the Titanic. Yeah. And you were told uh, yeah. to stand on the side of the thing. You know? um, and she said, uh, the, w you, those chairs that you used to stand on were your, your grandfather's, um, your great grandfather's. Worked on the Titanic. And yeah. um, he took them from the Titanic just before it set sail. Because my, gra my great grandfather was a master wood, he was the master wood maker on the, one of the master wood makers on the Titanic. And in 1912, and when it set sail from Harlan and Wolf from Belfast, um, uh, like they gave mementos, uh, they t people who worked on it took things off that weren't needed on it. And he took Players two chairs, it was deck chairs, and um, really they had Titanic engraved on the back of it, but I never knew this because I was only a little kid, and my mom didn't either. So when my Auntie Rita told my mom and I this, this was around 1997, just when the movie came out, literally, it was just must have been a few months after the movie came out and my mom and I were like you're kidding me it was a Titanic chair two Titanic chairs and she said hey she goes okay sure I just got rid of them she goes who took them she goes oh just some bin, bin men took man. them and we were like there's two bin men somewhere who were probably fucking millionaires now because of those two chairs because they be, you know if you found out they were from the Titanic they were actually on the Titanic and then taken off so it was it was unbelievable. Could not believe it. Well, they made so many things anyway, and they were always talking as the guys and worked on it. They were given different things because they worked on it. Yeah. In his area. Yeah. Because he was a woodworker. Yeah. It was the deck chair. You know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, that's it. You know, we thought nothing of then. You know. No, absolutely. Can you um, imagine all those years later, they were so valuable, obviously. You know? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, D Danny just said, that's so cool. I'm in love with anything to do with the Titanic, yeah. she said. And your Uncle Albert is like it as well. My uncle's the same. He's huge into the Titanic yeah. and, and because his grandfather was the w well, his mom master woodmaker the on there. Launching. My granny, my mum's mum, was at the launch of the Titanic. And my granny is the only grandparent I've, I've ever met. 1898. Yeah, my mum's mum was born in 1898 because my granny had my mum when she was 40. 
and my mom had me when she was 40 and now I only just turned 40 last year so yeah it's weird isn't it 120 years between three generations my granny was born in 1898 then for, then my mom was born in 1938 in the right I was born in 1978 and now it's 2018 40 years later so it's that's the best shot I've had that nice play right there that's in pretty close it's amazing no way BVD said she you're freaking me out now because my great granddad also worked on the Titanic no way. that is unbelievable oh, oh my god that's, amazing. that's incredible because because she's from Belfast yeah oh my god that's amazing Harlan and Wolf Harlan and Wolf yeah, yeah. that's incredible wow that oh. is incredible our grandpa or our great grandpa our uh, great grandpa surely yeah her great granddad, yeah. 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 She said, yeah. This, that's mad, isn't it? Both her great grandfathers worked on the Titanic. Here's to be what they call a and all was a Mac, Mac Mahan. Yeah, my great granddad was Mac Mahan. Oh, nearly got a hole in one. <laughs> Michael said, I've always found the Titanic fascinating since I was a boy. Your mom had you at 19. You were born in 90. That's right. I remember you saying you were born in 93. How I always remember you were born in 93, Predator, is uh, because it was two years after Street Fighter 2 was released. Because obviously you're a big Street Fighter fan, and I remember you saying, I was thinking, oh, he's born two years after one of the favourite games he has. Um, it's interesting, you never know. Yeah. What street? Yeah, we were. And the Titanic connection as well. Only the longest hitters can get here Yeah, BGD, my, my family's name was Mac Madden. That's not my, my, my name now, but that was my mum's ancestor's name. That's my mum's. My, my grandmother's maiden name, basically. Yeah, Owen Mac Madden. Oh he was the Big master award maker in a Titanic. Big Owen. Big Owen he was called. So if you know any of your family that worked on the Titanic, if they were alive or stories, they would remember Big Owen. Now he was a Catholic but there was a lot of, there was only trouble on there and to do with religion and all that, he was always warned about it because, yeah. it was, because of a lot of friction between yeah. the religions there, you know. So yeah. yeah. But yeah, Big Owen. Big Owen. She said, she said, I'm sure we were the Gormans back then, but I'd have to double check. Gorman. I'll, yeah. uh, Gorman. That, that's, that'd be, the Gormans, somewhere there was a south, south of Ireland, there was a Gormans. I know that, but I'm not sure. Yeah, okay, Gormans. Because we had an next door neighbour when I was in South, from Dublin, South of Ireland, at Gormans next door. Yeah, you see, the Gormans. It was Gormans and no Gormans. Uh, old Gormans would be from, from the north of Ireland as well. Yeah. So Gor you could have had the Gormans move from Dublin up to Northern Ireland, yeah, so it's but definitely. It's an old Gorman and Gormans. Yeah. And old, old Gorman is like a, a Celtic, like Scottish, and that type of thing, you know. Yeah. 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 Danny said, My mum was 21 and not having been married a year when she had me. Oh, that's lovely. My family came down from Scotland originally, Michael said. Really? Aye. Oh, yeah, right. That's not the Gorman, was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go, that's right. So it is a Catholic um, thing. Oh, uh, Gorman, oh, oh, it's from the north, and got it, the other side of it is from the south. Yeah. And that's how they defined, oh, you're an old Gorman or a Gorman, and it was the, the clans and all that. that, that had all that's that. it, it was the clan names. Oh, what? Great the oh, oh, golf course. Powerful yeah. and it's rhythmic at the same time. It's the time who you were, you know, if you're a... Oh, Callahan or Callahan. Well, um, BBD said, uh, my... MacDonald, MacDonald and Old Donald. Old Donald. Oh, you know, there's all that connotations about names, especially yeah. in those days, yeah, it's who you are and who you define. Oh, if you're a MacDonald or an Old Donald, or Old Donald, or they're from the south, or MacDonalds in the north. Mm. You know, it's, yeah. It's all to do with, um, bit like, uh, what do you call it? The film you're watching. It's got Evelyn. No. 
with them, the Bruce and all that type oh, of thing. Bru- uh, They're all different clans, you see. Yeah, you know yeah. yeah. Um, BBD says, my, my, my mom's family are from Ivy, which is off the Falls Road. I know Ivy. Yeah, and uh, my really? dad's yeah my dad's family are from Andy Town, the Andy Town Road. That's where. Andy Town. Yeah, uh, no Andy Town Road. That's oh, where. Andy That's where I used to stay with my auntie Rita when I was a teenager. I would go over to the Andy Town. No, Andy Town is where Auntie Rita had lived in a fruitful fold. You remember where we used to stay? No, it was Andy Town, Andy Town, Andy Town Road. No, it was called the Andy Town. Andy Town Road. That's where all the marches used to go through. It could it could be called the Anderson Town Road, but I've always known it as the Andy Town Road. Oh, you've got family in Scotland as well. Uh. What part of Scotland were your were your family originally from, Mike? Were they from Bannockburn? <laughs> no, from you know the the deep rooted bullshit of Scotland. I love the Scottish accent. It's a great place, isn't it? Nice position. Oh, that's Short Alan Hansen. Oh, oh, cracking, not too bad. <laughs> Absolutely diabolical. <laughs> Should have scored that goal there. Goal should have gone in. The passing was atrocious. Overall, terrible defence. Backup was awful. Absolutely diabolical. And that's the other side. And that was the other side. It's tasty looking right there. Just a perfect spot for Fairway. Yeah. Sure for Anderson's Town Road. That's at Anderson's Town, yeah. Yeah, that's where I, I used to stay on Anderson's Town Road. And they call it Andy Road. Oh, Danny said her family are from Renet- Renton. In In Scotland. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. I'm not 100 percent sure, but I was told it was see somewhere you. in the Highlands. See you. God, the Highlands are stunning, Mike. See you, Paul. Hey. See you. Another good swing, and it looks like Frank had another really good shot. Hey, that's a great place, isn't it? You know what I mean? Right. I'm not fighting these bastards. Let's go home. That's what they said in uh, Braveheart. Yeah. Here's another story. They didn't use the language though, David. No, that, no that, that, that is what they said. No, they didn't. They did, in the film. Use that word in those days. Of course they did, bastards. No, they, they didn't. Bastard clans, because you were seen as a bastard if you didn't have a, ch- uh, a father. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Bastard child. Yeah. yeah. That's why he says in, in uh, Braveheart, he goes, Right, I'm not fighting these bastards. Let's go home. Oh, shit. <laughs> Owl Mounts and Legend. Aye, not too bad. So, uh, this is a 16 footer. Over tonight's proceedings is uh, my good uh, commentator here is Alan Hansen. Oh, thanks, Gary. That's great. Oh, absolutely diabolical. <laughs> Ball was all over the place, and uh, I don't know what uh, Mark Lawrence thinks about it. What do you think, Mark? Oh, that's great, Gary. That's lovely. Wow, how you going? Oh, I know. Oh, no, it's like c- kissing his other arm. You bastard. Cheating. I know. It's, it, it rolled over, Gary. Oh no, you bastard. Matt Lonington. You're not gonna get it. It's you. The Chucker Brothers. Yeah. To me, to you. My, Renton, Renton, uh, re, um, my, Did the job, right? my biological father, his family lived near there. As in his his sister's family, well, the they live near there. Number eighteen, and Frank, I have really enjoyed. Oh, all these this weird connections we've got. Now, when you see the lighthouse in the well, distance, the and the yeah, it really makes it that yeah. much yeah. more special. Yeah. It is That's the, crazy about the one that um. Ah, oh, cheers, Mike. It bends to the left. Uh, a good it, shot. And also, they have time for fucking. Is that true? And of course, uh, you make three, Bloody hell. and then that smile's gonna light up like a beacon. Jimmy, it's you. Oh, that's very sad, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah? <laughs> Chucker Brothers? Yeah, Jimmy, it's you. That's not bad, is it? Oh, oh I don't know. Oh, oh that's great. <laughs> Jimmy, it's you. Oh, very good. Oh, yeah. Hey, she also has an Auntie Rita. I don't believe it. BBD. The one who said she, uh, Greg, 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 this is weird. Are it's we rela- creepy now? I was going to say, uh, are we related? Uh, it's going to turn out we're brother and sister or something, BBD. <laughs> oh, dear. 
It, it's going to be like an episode of Neighbours. Neighbours of McMahon. Uh, sorry? McMahon. <laughs> that, that, it's, yeah, I'm reading McMahon. If you're related, that would be mad. Oh, I don't know, buddy. Jimmy, do you? Oh, I don't know, buddy. What do you think, buddy? Do you? Jimmy? Oh, that was yeah, sad, wasn't it, when he died? Like. He was great. Interesting choice coming out here. It'll be interesting to see how he I used to watch Chichigo Bros. Good thing he stayed in the first class. The Chuckle Brothers, they were great back in the day. That rough is really deep. That's crazy that you have an anti reader as well. I bet. It's and yeah, yeah, God, that's weird. That's surreal. To me, to you, to you, to me. To you, to me. Oh, I don't know, buddy. Mom always said, that, <laughs> "Jesus, she made me laugh." <laughs> Fucking hell, <laughs> John. <laughs> <laughs> Mum always said that how good children were swapped <laughs> with us assholes in the hospital. I literally just said, I don't know what Barry in the strongest man ever. To... Oh, yeah, rest in peace, Barry. It's so sad he died, isn't it? There's people die now that never died before. There's people died now who never died before. <laughs> Oh, bless him. He was lovely. We all grew up on the Chuckle Brothers. They were great. Yeah, so sad. When I saw his brother, I saw his brother being interviewed on, uh, I think it was this morning, I looked, saw him on YouTube. Oh, broke my heart when I saw him talking about him, because they, they were such close brothers. They were... And they, they started off on the comedy circuit in the late 70s with, um, like, uh, with Bernard Manning and all of that. Like they used to do all the comedy club circuit and do all the like grotty clubs and stuff and, and they, they, they made it basically through hard graft. And then they ended up in children's TV and they be, by complete fluke and they ended up on children's BBC and they became household names overnight. Just five feet left. Uh, well, the other one was like, Barry and... A lot of hard work, but like Markham and Wires and all those people, you know, it's... You see them and they're knocking down all the shots. Yeah. But they had to work at it. Again. They did have to work at it. Yeah, they did. They did. And then when they're successful, it's great. But they had to work at it. Exactly. Again. As Michael said, you never saw one without the other. No, I can't remember the other one's name, Danny. Just um, an amazing display of records continue. Oh. My dad's off to bed, by the way. He's just going to say goodnight. Frank, that was just a good night. Lovely talking to you. He it's said, lovely talking to you. May your ear holes so turn, so turn to our souls and shite all over your shoulders. To me, to you. Oh, I don't know about it. He's saying goodnight. He's saying goodnight. To me, to you. Oh, it's very sad, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. What are we doing? Oh no. Good night. Good night. They all say good, good night, Papa V. Oh, I don't know. What time is it? Oh, bloody hell, it's 20 to 4. Oh, I don't know. They said, lovely chatting to your dad. Michael said, good morning, Michael. What's that? Good morning, Michael. How are you? Uh, Predator says, have a nice sleep. He says, thank you all. All right, kid. Give me everything you got. Super pursuit mode. <laughs> I can't I can't sleep either. I'm in a completely night shift mode at the moment. I say that. No, I'm I feel like streaming something else now. Night Rider. Night Rider, I used to watch Night Rider. That was brilliant, wasn't it? Alright kid, give me everything you got. Super pursuit mode. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that noise the guy used to make when he used to jump. He's go <laughs> Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> Morning, Michael. How are you? Michael, you have a 45% chance, chance of survival. I don't like your odds. Never tell me the odds, kid. My father-in-law watches it. Oh, my father-in-law watches it and my dad still watches it. It's such a brilliant show. I loved it. I still love it. I had a night ride a car when I was a kid. Like a proper one I used to sit in. My mum, after my dad died, my mum, bless her, she tried to, you know, make me feel a bit happier. This is in between the years when my father died and then I met my new father. Um, so in those three year gap, I remember my mum bought me this Knight Rider car, it cost her a fortune. Back in 1987, it cost her like about £2,000 or something. And it was a proper Knight Rider car I could sit in and I had the electric light on it. She imported it from America. It was, it was incredible. Greatest toy I ever had in my life. I've got pictures of, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to scan them someday. And I'm going to put them in a montage and put them on YouTube. It was amazing. Airwolf. The A team. In nineteen seventy-three, a crack commando team was sent to Vietnam. They were let go as prisoners of war. Years later, they went on the run. If you know where they are, if you need help. Then you need to call the A team. That was great. I love the A team. Did you guys, did you guys ever see the program Bring Back the A-Team? That's why you sleep before dinner, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so true. I, I, it, that's why I sleep before dinner as well, yeah. I used to love, uh, um, Mr. Bean, he was great. <laughs> um, he was brilliant. Well, did you guys ever watch um, Bring Back the A-Team? The, 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 go and look on YouTube and there's an hours documentary called Bring Back the A-Team, right? And it's Justin Lee Collins who's from near here from Bristol. And he did this thing called Bring Back the A-Team and it was amazing. And obviously they couldn't bring back George Peppard because he died. But he interviewed Mr. T, uh, Dirk Benedict, who played Face. He, he interviewed uh, Dwight Schwartz, who played Face. Um, and he interviewed uh, the, the girl that was in the A-Team for a short while. And all the other sub-characters, Colonel Decker and all that. But when it got to uh, George Peppard, who played Hannibal Smith, he goes, George Peppard, master of skies, all-round hard man, and a fucking brilliant minstrel. <laughs> Oh god, Mike's dad would love him. Mike's dad would love what you mean he'd love uh what's his name? I can't remember his name. Who were we talking about? about... The I quite like the A Team movie, actually, Predator. A lot of people didn't like it. I thought it was I actually thought it was quite enjoyable the A Team movie. Oh damn, you pay take my van, dog! The guy who played Mr. T and that was good. I liked him. You know, and I thought, uh, what's his name? Liam Neeson as uh, Hannibal Smith was good. And Bradley Cooper as Face. I thought, I liked it. And then, what's his name? Uh, Carlito Sh Sh Shelpley, whatever his name was. The New Zealand actor. He played, um, he played Murdoch. Mike's about as crazy as that guy. Oh, you. <laughs> Mike's about as crazy as that guy. What? Um, Murdoch. Dude, Mike. We blood brothers, you know what I'm saying? I'm a crazy ass motherfucker as well, you know. Uh, yeah, no, ah, oh, bless him. Your dad sounds really cool. Mike. 
<laughs> if that's true. I'm so I'm so glad you guys came on stream tonight. I'm really enjoying this. I am. Um, I'm actually going to start another stream in a minute, guys, and you don't have to join me. I understand if you want to go to bed and stuff. I'm going to start Soul Calibur Five. Um, not Soul Calibur Five, Soul Calibur Six. Oh, that's lovely. You guys seem so lovely together. It's lovely that you're so connected and stuff. Like my ex, um, I broke up at my ex now a fair while back and um, we've had so many ups and downs and stuff. Um, we were quite well connected in, in a way. We used to share a lot of similar interests and stuff. Like I, we'd play a lot of games together. We'd play like Tomb Raider and stuff like and all that together. And, um, and then eventually we broke up things just weren't working out um you know because of my job and because of her job and then because i was looking after my mom as well put a big strain on our relationship not my mom's fault it was nothing to do with the fact that i was looking after my mom it was the fact that um her little girl who adores me still to this day bless her and i adore her um it it just you know it created a lot of tension because it was difficult to approach certain conversations and stuff so uh, it's a shame really it's a shame really oh I was just wondering I thought my sound went off there you watch Mike play his games that I can, you can't play I bet you can play games Danny I bet you can Whenever anybody says I can't play a game, I always say there's one game that you can always play, guaranteed. I always think a great entry game for anybody is Mario Kart. Because that is the game that unites... That unites countries, Mario Kart. I don't care what anybody says. You can... You could be having a war in the middle of Afghanistan. And you'd be like... And you'd be like... And you'd be like... And you'd be like... Stop! Let's play Mario Kart. Boom. Peace. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's the shit that happens. Uh, we're talking about... Um, you played a, a game on PS1 when you sorry, the robot Vita turned off my PS1 back in the day. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean, Predator. Um, oh, Monopoly. I've got Monopoly on the PS4, actually. I love I, lo I love playing Monopoly online. You should you guys if you do you guys have a PS4? You should get Monopoly on the PS4. It is fucking excellent, seriously. Because you can play people online. It's brilliant. It's such good fun, honestly. I love Monopoly. I absolutely love Monopoly. I am I'm one of those people that can sit up all night playing Monopoly. I loved it. I hated it as a kid because I didn't understand it. And then suddenly it clicked with me when I was about 22, 23 and I was like, oh shit. I love this game yeah you know I was like I remember thinking to myself yeah I could quite easily become a a, a real estate megalomaniac if I had the inclination to be that kind of bastard but um Paul that's the other chuckle brother yeah that you can't beat the proper board game I've got the Mario version of Monopoly. <laughs> so you buy like um you buy like islands and uh, different worlds from the Mario games instead of like London cuz I like, you know, I, I like mixing up a little shit. And, oh, I mean, I know it's kiddie, but what the hell? Um uh Paul is the other chuckle brother, yeah. That's right, BBD. Yeah, I don't know if you guys want to join me um, on my on my other stream. I understand totally if you don't want to, because it's so late. Um, um, absolutely, Predator, no problem. Uh, but I'm I'm going to go over to Soul Calibur now. But listen, if you guys don't want to join me on there, uh, Danny and Mike, I totally, totally, totally understand. Oh, cool. 
All right, guys. Well, listen, I'm going to go over to Soul Calibur now, and I'll be straight on. Uh, I'll be on there in about. I'm just going to come off this stream, and I'll go straight onto that one. And listen, guys, I'm going to start watching your videos as well on your page. Are you sure you don't mind coming on there? Broken Mike 216 is my PSN. Okay, I'm going to end the stream now and I'm going to add you. Okay, Broken Mike. Broken Mike 216 is your PSN. I'll do that now. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, that'd be great to have you on the other stream. And I totally understand if you can, but thank you. Guys, I've had the best time on this stream. Broken Mike 216. Broken Mike 216. And uh, BBD. No, no problem. No problem, I'm having a great night talking to you guys. It's brilliant. Bless Jim for introducing us. Um, all right, I'll be on in a minute. Yes, you'll see me tomorrow, Predator, for the podcast, and I'll sort out my um, Discord. Have a good sleep, Predator. All the best, mate. Okay, guys, um, I'll see you there in a minute. And like I said, I totally understand if you can't make it. Awesome. Right, I'm going over to Soul Calibur 6 now. But you're welcome on there, obviously. Peace.